Doll SMGs. They're still just as boring in Borderlands 3 as they were in Borderlands 2, but a lot better because now they can actually fire fully automatically. In this one, we're going to be looking at the parts that can spawn on these guys. If you guys are here to see the parts on Legendaries, well then I'm sorry to say we're not going to be looking at those. Legendaries and Uniques each have their own special parts that aren't going to be found on any other gun. They can spawn with other parts that can vary, and that's what we're going to be looking at. So what's up with Doll in this game? Doll weapons have the ability to switch between two firing modes determined by the fire selector part. They can swap between two of the following, fully automatic, semi-automatic, and burst fire. Like I said, nothing flashy, but it makes them a lot more versatile compared to only firing in bursts. Let's take a look at the parts starting with the body of the gun. The body of all doll SMGs is going to be the same no matter the rarity, and it can spawn with up to three accessories. The first accessory here is going to give you an accuracy bonus of 15%. Now when you're looking at parts, negative accuracy is a bonus as shown here, and positive accuracy is a penalty. I just want to bring this up because you'll see it over and over. The second accessory will decrease your accuracy bloom by 25%, and the third here is going to decrease your reload time by 10%. That's it for the body and its accessories, they're pretty straightforward. Now we're going to take a look at the four barrels which have a bit more going on. The barrels are going to give the guns their base name, and each have their own accessories that are unique to that barrel. In addition, the barrel will also determine the number of bullets fired in each burst when you roll a doll SMG with burst fire. The first barrel we're going to look at is the Hyena, which fires in 4 shot bursts when you're using burst fire. Here's what the barrel looks like. This one can spawn with 3 accessories. The first one is going to do a number of things. It's going to give you a 5% accuracy bonus, a fire rate increase of 5%, a recoil height decrease of 25%, and a damage increase of 5%. The second one is going to decrease your accuracy bloom by 25%, and the third one is going to increase your fire rate by 10%. Next we have the Jackal Barrel, which is going to fire in 5 shot bursts with burst fire mode on. This is the barrel here, and like the Hyena, it can spawn with up to 3 accessories. The first is a melee attachment that will decrease accuracy bloom by 25% and increase melee damage by 40%. This is the only doll SMG barrel that can spawn with a melee attachment. The second accessory will increase fire rate by 10%. The third accessory here will also increase fire rate by 10%. The third barrel is the Wolfhound Barrel, which fires in 3 shot bursts with burst fire mode on. This barrel here, like the others, is going to have 3 accessories. The first is going to give you an accuracy bonus of 15%. The second here will also provide a 15% accuracy bonus. The third will provide an increase in damage by 10%. Now we'll look at the fourth barrel, and I'm going to butcher this name, so sorry in advance, but it's the Kadejo? Kadejo? It's the alien barrel for doll SMGs, and it will fire in four shot bursts when you roll burst fire. Just for having this barrel, it will give you a magazine size increase of 20%. It can also spawn with an accessory that will increase your projectile speed by 30%, and decrease your reload time by 10%. That's it for the barrels, but we still have a number of parts to get through. We'll take a look at the bolts, which are pretty straightforward. There's two of them, and the first one here is going to increase your damage by 5%. The second one is going to increase your fire rate by 5%. Next, we'll take a look at the three grips. The first here is going to give you a fire rate increase of 5%. The second one here will increase your magazine size by 10%, apply a 10% accuracy penalty, and decrease damage by 5%. The third one is going to give you one additional projectile per shot at the cost of an accuracy bloom penalty of 20%, an accuracy penalty of 10%, and a damage decrease of 20%. If you get a gun with this part, it will have the adapting prefix. That's it for the grips, and now we'll take a look at the five four grips. The first one will decrease recoil height by 30%, and then apply an accuracy bonus of 10%. The second will also decrease recoil height by 30%, but will provide 5% additional damage. The third foregrip will decrease reload time by 5%, and will decrease accuracy bloom by 30%. The fourth foregrip is going to give two instances of negative 30% weapon sway. If you've seen any guides I've done previously, you'll see this any time there is weapon sway on a part. I don't know why there are two instances here, but there are. In addition, this one will have a critical damage increase of 10%. And the last foregrip will have the same thing going on with weapon sway as the last one, but we'll have a 5% fire rate bonus instead of the critical damage bonus. Next, we'll take a look at the three magazines. The first is going to be an 18 round magazine that gives a 10% damage bonus. The second will be a 25 round magazine that will give no bonuses or penalties. And the last magazine here will be a 32 round magazine that decreases damage by 10%. 
Next, we will take a look at the stocks. There are three of these, and the first will give you an accuracy bonus of 20% and a critical damage bonus of 10%. The second will decrease recoil width by 30% and decrease accuracy balloon by 20%. The third is going to, again, give 30% weapon sway reduction in two instances according to this image here, and a 5% increase in fire rate. And it is possible that you get no stock on a gun. The scopes on DAL SMGs work a little bit differently than traditional scopes in this game. You get two different scopes that you swap between when you change your firing mode. The first will give you both 1.5 times zoom and 3 times zoom. The second will give you 2.2 times zoom and 4 times zoom. And the third will give you 2.2 times zoom and 5 times zoom. You can also get a doll SMG that spawns with just the iron sights. If you get a scope, you can get one of three rails to spawn. These rails don't have any listed stat bonuses, but they can vary. To me, it doesn't look like there is any other part that determines the rail you end up with, but I'll show you what you can get. This is the first one here, and the second, and the third. Doll SMGs can spawn with all five available elements, these being fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, and radiation. Most of the time though, you will probably see no element. Here's a table to help keep track of all the different parts you can get on these things. I will also link a spreadsheet that will have all of this information and the parts for other gun types as I get to them. Anyways, that'll do it for Doll SMGs. See ya!